front and center on the diplomatic stage. While Egypt's president Hosni Mubarak rubs shoulders with regional leaders, the fact that his son is also in Washington, D.C. has raised eyebrows back home. The 47-year-old Gamal Mubarak is a member of the ruling National Democratic Party's powerful Secretariat Committee and is a regular visitor in Washington's power circles. But accompanying the Egyptian delegation on such a high-level meeting of powerful leaders aimed at restarting peace talks has many speculating on what it means for the future of Egyptian politics. What's strange is that President Mubarak is taking his son as part of an official delegation to the United States in an unofficial capacity. What's interesting is the timing, ahead of elections. It seems that he's trying to market his son as someone who can continue his father's policies in the region. In Egypt, Gamel's visit was not lost on the country's opposition papers, which watch his every move as evidence that he is being groomed to succeed his ailing father, who has ruled for nearly 30 years. Attempts to hand him power could trigger a fierce backlash and instability in the Arab world's most populous country. Ashraf Naguib, who runs a profit-based policy think tank with strong ties to the ruling party in Egypt, dismisses such charges. It would be very naive for us to think or to assume that, you know, this is sort of a showcase for Gamal Mubarak, uh, you know, while his father takes him by his hand and takes him to Washington and says, you know, check him out and see whether this is going to work out or not. Many Egyptians believe the current president is quietly paving the way for his son to run for office in what observers and activists fear will be a sham presidential election where the ruling party will handpick the next president. However, the NDP secretary general has ruled that out, saying Hosni Mubarak remains the party's only candidate for a sixth term. Officially, though, the 82-year-old president has not yet declared his intentions to run for another term of office. This has been going on for many years, as we've seen Gamal being given many chances to carve out a public profile. The president is paving his way for his son for the presidency. This has been going on for many years. The president has been trying to give his son a more public profile. It's not only Egyptians who are undecided about which way the country should go before next year's elections. The United States, Egypt's biggest financial and military backer, will certainly weigh in on its politics. So far, though, there is little indication the U.S. is willing to compromise the potential stability of its closest Arab ally for the sake of a freer democracy. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Cairo.